That's high right there. What's up everybody, Derek here, and today I'm down at the creek and I brought my kayak because we're gonna go out here and we're gonna test this thing. I just put a cheap um, kayak trolling motor mount on this thing for like 10 to $20. Uh, it's 35 thrust. I've got a bigger battery, bigger marine battery. So we've got this thing basically emptied. We've got our backpack and just some of the essentials in case we need them. And we're just going to kind of run up and down here. we got a little hole right here. It's fairly deep. So I think we can run up and down the middle of this section and just see how fast this thing will actually run. I don't know, a 35 thrust, or it says 34, but I just call it 35. I don't know, maybe four or five miles an hour, maybe four. Um, we may take this thing and see if we can maybe blow it up one of these days, but for this test, we just wanna kinda of get a baseline of how fast this thing is with a 34, 35 thrust, whatever, and turn on the GPS on the phone and go up and down this creek, so let's go. All right, I got my paddle, and I am getting all muddy down here. I mean, it's a muddy mess today. Oh, I don't know if I can get some of this mud off of here, but definitely going to try a little bit. Man, it is caked with mud down here. So let's get on out here. I didn't bring a seat either, so I'm not going to worry about the seat. So... Let's get on out here and float around a little bit and get this trolling motor set. If I can get off, there we go. All right, time to set this thing up. Loosen that just a little bit. Get our, whoa, I don't wanna to go too deep. About right there is perfect. Ugh. Get that collar. Ooh. That battery's bringing in all kinds of weight back there. But our goal is to see how fast we can get going here. All right. I got my phone pulled up, so if you can see that. All right. Let's put this thing on high. Get out here in the main channel and see what this thing can do. There's two already. And that's high right there. As long as we don't run into the tree. Three. sure what happened there it just cut out come on four four maybe come on nope looks like three okay let's turn this thing around man the creek looks awesome today we're gonna make one more run down this. All right, kick this thing on high. It's actually getting along pretty good. It's kind of quite surprising. There's three. I don't know if we're gonna to top anything higher than three. Three. Nope. Three miles an hour looks to be it. All right. That well, was a good try. <laughs> Give it the old try. Well, I didn't have to make a couple runs. I could kind of see that this thing planed out at three miles an hour. I guessed at four, which I thought would be decent three to four miles an hour is not too bad whenever you're sitting in just calm waters like this but when you get out there and you might be in some rough waters that might just be enough to sit in one spot so 
definitely might need an upgrade on something like that but it was good to know kind of have a baseline where a 35 thrust would push this thing along three miles an hour with virtually just a battery and a backpack and me i mean nothing i don't even have a seat in there so let me know what you guys think and maybe what your thoughts are on this if i should try to overvolt and try to blow this thing up because i can rebuild it and i'm not worried about it but i'm just curious what it'll do on a 24 volt or a on a 36 volt system so I don't know it's just something to kind of play with because that's basically what I do all the time I just kind of think about things and try to engineer them but let me know in the comment section you guys and thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one